If you already know how to do Lewis, that's fine. If you don't, uh, why don't you see my method of doing this? My method is to start with the valence electrons. So you go do a valence electron count, and uh, you get the valence electrons by looking at what column, what main group column is that element in? Hydrogen's in column one. Oxygen's in column six, and there's four oxygens in column six. And then the halogens in column seven, it doesn't matter what the halogen is, there's one halogen. We add that up, that's 24 plus eight, uh, did I get that right? Yeah. Uh, 24 plus 8, so that's, uh, I'm going crazy here, 32, okay, thank you. So, uh, the structure here is given uh, in the drawing, it's a H, then comes an O, then comes an X, then comes three O's attached to that X. So, there's, so next, my next step is to do the, uh, what I call the skeleton. Now, my next step is to start filling in these 32 electrons. I start with the bonds first, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. <coughs> Remember that each bond counts for uh, two electrons. Now I go on to the lone pairs that are terminal, on the terminal atoms. So I'm 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 of 32, 12, 14, 16. And I only put eight electrons max around each atom. So this has got eight, so that's why I stopped at 16. That's 16 out of 32. 18, uh, 20, 22. That's 22 of 32. Uh, 24, 26, 28 of 32. Uh, 30, 32 of 32. Now I ask myself, does everything have an octet? Looks pretty cool. Uh, now, my last thing to ask, uh, are there any formal chart or any non-zero formal charges? All over the place. Should I review how to do formal charges? Yes or no? Yes. yes, okay. How to do formal charges. You look, pick a particular element that you're interested in. Let's start with oxygen. You find the column that oxygen is in. It's in the sixth column in the periodic table. Then you go, and what I'm showing you right now is not chemistry, it's just a little trick, okay? Then you go over to your atom of interest. Let's pick this one. Count the things around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> there are seven things, there should be six. It's in the sixth column. This is a minus one formal charge. All the oxygens are the same here. How about this oxygen? It's in column six, but watch my pen. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one's good to go. Zero formal charge. Let's look at the halogen now. The halogen is in column seven. I count around it. One, two, three, four. So it's missing three. Notice that the sum of the formal charges will equal the overall charge, in this case zero, plus three, minus, 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 equals zero. We prefer to have our formal charges closer, uh, or to be zero, if not zero, we're cool with plus one or minus one. So how you fix a formal charge is by making multiple bonds, or double, triple bonds. So let's fix that by doing this. Okay, so now let's look at this. What's the formal charge on every single oxygen? Zero, because the oxygens are in column six and every oxygen has six things around it. What's the formal charge of the halogen? Zero, it's in column seven, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things around it. That's in column seven. It does break the octet of the halogen, so we must have a large halogen for this to work. Okay, but there's your practice with Lewis. Um, there are other, any questions on that? Make sure you can draw the Lewis structure of all those oxy acids. Okay, are right. uh, there some other halogens, uh, compounds as well that are interesting? Other halogen compounds. There's things like B, R, F, 
three. So you can have a mixed halogen. That is two halogens together. Uh, you can have I, F, seven. So the I will be in the middle. There's seven Fs around it. This will be definitely the shape I mentioned a little earlier. <coughs> pentagonal bipyramidal shape you haven't seen before. But uh, it, it's uh, two pyramids and the base that attaches them both is pentagonal in shape. Uh, you can have uh, I3 minus. Uh, we can draw the shape for that. The valence electrons is uh, the halogens in column 7, and there's three of them. And there's a minus 1 charge, so we'll add one for that. 22. Let's draw its Lewis structure. You put the three I's on the line, and I put the two bonds, so two, four of 22 so far. Four electrons of 22. Let's fill in the other electrons, starting at the outside first. At least that's my method. So six, eight, ten of 22 right now. Uh, 12, 14, 16 of 22. 18 and 20 of 22. Now at this point I have one more pair left. Where am I going to put that last pair? Yeah, if you have a leftover pair and you fill the octets, put that pair in the middle or in one of the center atoms, one of the internal atoms. Okay? Uh, so this would be it. What is the electronic shape of this? There are one, two, three, four, five groups. That's trigonal, bipyramidal. What is the molecular shape of this? It's actually linear. When there's three lone pairs, this would be, have a linear shape. So straight line sort of thing. Couple others uh, that are halogen compounds that are interesting. Teflon. Somehow nothing sticks to Teflon, but it does stick to the pan. This is a polymer. And uh, it kind of looks like this. It zigzags back and forth with carbons. And on those carbons are fluorines. And it just, uh, it's a really long chain. Dot, 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 dot. Is this polar or nonpolar, by the way? It would be nonpolar. It's very symmetric. Okay, Freon, this is a cooling agent, might be in your refrigerator. This is uh, carbon also with chlorines and fluorines. Uh, it can cause ozone problems, so there are other coolants as well that are similar to this. Uh, another common uh, halogen compound is PVC. This is the uh, pipes that's used in a lot of places. It's used for your sprinklers usually. Uh, they're usually white in color. It stands for polyvinyl chloride. And this is also a polymer. It zigzags back and forth. Uh, and on the end, it has a bunch of chlorines. Uh, well, not on, every, not on every spot, but every other spot has a chlorine. So uh, the poly, I mean, many vinyl, well, don't worry about that. <laughs> if you take okay, you'll know what that means. Chloride, uh, there's chloride. 